the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. God bless you. Hey. I know you'll enjoy this this, sec, this session that we had this week. Uh, I have broken it down in parts, part A through B or C or E. <laughs> but the bottom line is, we talk about the fact is that Jesus walked Christians. And the fact is that the God of this world has blinded the minds of non-believers. So we need to be able to teach the gospel in Yeshua's way. And show everybody that we are working. We're no longer blinded. We are supposed to be able to preach the gospel, spread that light so that others can see. Rise and shine for the light has come. Enjoy the segment. I know you'll love each part that comes up. Uh, about two hours we did the whole thing. So we broke it down in you know 25 seconds and so forth so that you can enjoy. I thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed this week. And remember, Yeshua. Which is the trans, which is the Hebrew name for Jesus, is Lord. Amen. God bless you, and I see you when I see you. Bye bye. And like he said, he brought in a lot of architecture, a lot of culture, the Enlightenment, the Renaissance. But it did some of these people that in history have been whitewashed. And I, I'm not look look. We just tell you, but check the history yourself. When you see a word swale, when you see the word olive, when you see the word burnet, brunette, skin complexion, that's a person of color. There's people in, in the United States, there were black slave owners. There were blacks who came here as indentured servants. There were blacks here that were of aristocrats and landowners and everything else. But our history, the, 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 what we've been taught in school was that you only came from Africa. And then you don't even forget, forget the fact that even Africa had civilizations. Yeah. They had culture, the they time, had language. Anything that pertained to Africa that had modern civilization, no. you wouldn't see nothing. National Geographic. Africa was what they saw in Tarzan. Oh, National Geographic. Yeah. Said, yeah. Always, always hunts. Always jungle. Always yeah. swamp. Always desert. No, oh, no modern civilization. You hmm. never see that. That is. That's that's fact, called folks, if they saw some of the 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 urban cities in Africa, they wouldn't believe. They wouldn't that believe. They exist. Exactly. No. They, they wouldn't they believe think it was a lie. They got Mercedes and cars and high rise and this stuff is there now. Been you know? there. It's been it, there. It had been there. In Egypt, you 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 would you here's another hidden one of blinded to waking up, they were woke. Is I mean, why do you think they blew the nose off of some of the artifacts in Egypt? Yeah. Uh, you'd be like, okay. So it must have been a, it must have been deterioration. No, no, you could see it was physically uh, disfigured. <laughs> just that was just, that was the, the going thing for years. It fell off. <laughs> and see, we talk about we talk, so some people when they think woke, right? They keep thinking it's about uh, what did he what did he, how did he demonize woke? What, what was it? What is it? it, it, it oh, somebody told us that it was teaching to hate white people and you know what no that's not what it's talking about it's teaching us to recognize who we were and Basically, who we are if you won't you have your senses about you <laughs> you have a that's sense what that means. <laughs> you start to get your history you start to understand that that, that you were irrelevant yeah, that, you, that you do that you you have a sense of the truth mm -hmm. and, and, and so now you're woke if, yeah, you know not if you have an understanding of the truth and, and, and not believing the lie. Exactly. Yeah, you won't. Yeah. They're 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 politicizing words. They politicize to make it say the hate. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. it's a form of control. It's a form if, of control. If, if they can take a word and mm -hmm. put it in a box 
mm -hmm. course, they can take a a a person and put mm -hmm. them in a body. If they can label anything, mm -hmm. they can it. demonize anything. Yeah, yeah. Because they look, look, black lives matter. The opposite to it. They can exactly. also uplift things. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah. Well, they can uplift anything that has to. Be it fits into the narrative. Yeah. And what we're trying to tell y'all, let me just tell everybody that's listening here, that I'm not so much concerned about from the woke of the African Americans. I think if we as Christians need to be awakened to the fact that that scripture we just read, is that what that scripture base was telling you? That we as believers have been blinded. We, oh man, think about it, Brother Asa, think about it. Man, we need to put that word woke well, Christian, wake up, Christian. <laughs> well, you got it? You see what I'm saying? Maybe we need to sit there and say, we as believers need to be woken. Uh, <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Because, <laughs> what do you think? And you think about, oh, y'all, listen, listen, let's look at this again. It's in the term of woke. We're saying is we as believers need to wake up. <laughs> and if you look at it, this is what that scripture was saying. We think about it, isn't that this what this almost this talking to believers, isn't it? Right? It's, it's, it's talking to believers. It's talking to what's happened to people who want to believe. Right? It's talking to people who need to hear the gospel because Christ told us to go preach the gospel throughout the whole world, right? And yet somebody is trying to hide the gospel to potential believers, right? Because that that, that's almost saying the same thing, right? Therefore saying we have this ministry, right? That that That's the ministry. The ministry belongs to the believer. Is that, that, is that correct? Yeah. Okay, now look, and, and as we receive mercy, we, we, we need to make sure everybody understand as believers, we receive mercy. We do. We didn't earn it. Because we're not perfect. No, far from it. I don't know about you. I, look, I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about anybody out there. I don't know about you, but, but I, I, I still have issues. You still have issues. I, and it's funny, I was sitting there one time, it was in a conference. Uh, it was just, it was a meeting. And, and the minister got up and said about, you know, something re re references to sex and said, I am a man. Because that's the going, that's the default answer right yeah. to our sexual desires uh lusts and everything else and as, as if that says is okay and i'm not saying it's not okay i'm saying the saying is that you we have different areas that we must work on daily do you have to work on some things daily brother Andrew? every day every day um, do you do you slip up sometimes oh man that's just Come on. Come on. That, I, I'm still in this flesh. Uh, I, come on. And, when, and that's the whole point. If you don't see me in this, wrapped in this flesh, come on. Then you, you can understand where I'm at. And I think the, the thing about it, how people will sit there and try to uh, hide the fact that they don't have issues or portray that to the masses and say, it is, I have arrived. I'm going to tell you right now, none of us have arrived. I'm going to tell you right now, if I sit down and be with you 24-7, I'll I find out some things that you don't want to put in public. Just like if you stay with me 24-7, you'll find some things you say, <laughs> you don't want that out. Yeah. You don't want that out. Uh, and it's a daily walk, a daily, and that's why we see mercy. The reason I'm saying that, people, is look, that's what the scripture said. As we have received mercy, because we need mercy. Is that, is that that's valid to say, brother? Yeah. I need mercy. We need mercy. Everybody. People, that's why we want you to come to the gospel. That's why we want you to wake up and not let the thing be hidden from you. Because we all operate under mercy and grace. That's what a believer is. A believer is not somebody who has arrived. A believer is not someone who got that together. A believer is somebody who has made a decision to go boldly to the throne of grace. Because I need grace. I need mercy. You need mercy, right, brother Asa? We need mercy, right? He said, and, and we faint not because we receive that mercy. And now we're saying this, and that's where, as individuals, 
all of us is we have renounced those things that we have been doing in the back and booth in the corner in the dark. We have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. It's better to be truthful in your weakness instead of sitting there trying to hide it if you have a lie. And it's better to be, and the only reason I was sometimes, Brother Adam, people don't want to be truthful in their weakness is because they're too busy pointing out the weakness of somebody else. Oh, yeah. That's the whole purpose. Because you don't, you have a right to sit there and do wrong. You, I mean, you don't have the right to to condemn somebody else without you first saying you have done everything you supposed to have done. So the way I can sit there and condemn somebody, I got to hide my weaknesses, my areas. And then I can sit there and say I'm righteous. And then I can condemn you because you are, you are no good, dirty, nasty sinner. And the problem about it is that's not how Christ ministered. And that's why he even said, I came to say what? He died for the ungodly. And yet we sitting there too busy trying to act like he died for the righteous. He didn't die for the righteous, he died for the unrighteous. And that's why we say y'all should come to the gospel. And not for you to stay unrighteous. <laughs> that's the, I think that's the other thing that some people think is, oh, does it, like Romans said, Paul said, does the the sad I, 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 I was a sin, God forbid. But now I know what sin is. And maybe I can tackle those things. But I gotta tackle them first. And so so renounce the hidden, not walking in craftiness, because that's what that lie is, right? But craftiness, handling the word of God deceitfully, as if you are righteous and the other people are not. Wake up, people. <laughs> But by the manifestation of the truth, committing ourselves to every man, not in the conscience of men, and that's what we do in politics in the day. We do the conscience of men in the sight of God. We got to make sure people understand is the consciousness of God, be God conscious, spiritually minded, right? But if the gospel is here, it's here to them that are lost. My question is, how many people who call themselves Christians are actually lost? Are actually lost. And, and, and that's, that's the tragedy we're talking about. <laughs> that's because when, when, when I was talking to um, Brother here last week, I was saying about, it was a Priya. I think you remember, you, I don't know if you went to one of those classes anyway, Priya was in, in prison is to, to uh, protect people, uh, gays and, 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 and any other group, uh, by making sure we don't tear our message to, to drive people to hurt them. And, and, and I know what the Bible was talking about when they're saying is, well, you can't preach, you can't preach about homosexuals. And I said, that I, don't, I don't think this, that's what they're saying. They're trying to say is, I'm going to ask you the question. I'm going to ask you, I'm going to go off this here real quick. Brother Asin, I'm going to ask you the question too, and this, and this is my point. How could, whatever you, if you're preaching something, this goes across the board, and it causes somebody to beat somebody or kill somebody. Is it the message that you preach? Oh, there's something must be missing in the message that you was preaching. If you were preaching from the Bible, something something got mistranslated. Now we did talk earlier, right? We said is that you can't hear my words because <laughs> you're not of God. Maybe when the person was preaching, they won't preach. The, maybe they they preach the word of God. But the person didn't hear. What is that? The, could that be the reason that somebody would go and justify killing? And look, let me before you say something. That's not just talking about going out and beating up a homosexual, or beat or killing a homosexual. That that also translates going back and killing and lynching a person of color. That goes back and putting somebody in slavery. That goes it goes into going after the people that are Jews. And, and it's like, wait a minute, where, where in the gospel 
that you're supposed to have a gym. What? what, what did you? What did you? I'm gonna go. I'm a little rabbit trail on y'all, but where, where is that, brother? How, how can you preach? Where in the gospel does it preach that you're supposed to hate somebody that just just don't line up with, with what they believe to be the gospel? I, I, I haven't seen that in the gospel. I haven't seen it either. Right. But, uh, it, it's. It, it, it's just when it's tied to flesh. It is tied to flesh. It is. Then there's going to always be a violent response. Mm. Um, you know, Woo. you have people who despise these folks who are homosexual, or, you know, the LGBTQ, whatever else. Um, or well, even yeah, the transgenders and all that stuff. Yeah. So they, they, they just despise them. They, they, they utterly hate them to, to the point of wanting to do them harm. Yeah, and they're and talking about the just, Jews too, it's, right? It's, it's a form of, of sin. It's, it's, yeah. It derived from the fall in the garden, mm. and, and uh, it's, it's in the Bible. I mean, over and over again. Uh, but I will say this, they won't go attack that drug dealer that they see. Oh, wow. They did they, they not attack that adulterer. No. No. That's what we're trying to say, people, as far as you need to wake yeah, up. Because there's other sins that are being, you know, uh, acted out right yeah. in front of folks. Right. You know, no different than, than homosexuality. And yet, folks won't do that. Yeah. What do you think know, about it? Because there's, there's, there, there is the ability to to do self-harm by attacking certain sins. Yeah. You know, there's that self-preservation to go in and, and most people think, okay, well, these gay folks, you know, they sissies, so on and so forth, and, and I can just easily beat them up. But let me tell you, there are some out there <laughs> you don't want to that, that I know they just walk on by. They won't even <laughs> say a word to them because there, there's some, there's some men, men, manly men that have yeah. a sexual tendency oh, that I crazy. know folks won't go up to and try and mess with. Yeah, and the thing about it, and, and, and I'm just gonna make sure I spread it because uh, some people sit there and think it's just we're talking about this one area. I'm talking about oh, Jews. What, 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 what caused people when they kill a Jew? Or what caused me to want to kill somebody of color? What, what, what part of the gospel that that allowed you to do that? You, you see what I'm saying? You see where I'm coming from? It's, it's across the board. I mean, it's across the board. I mean, and even Wake you know, up. she said, you know, the, that, that this world will know mm. those that are his yeah. because of their love for one another. One another. You know, and, and, and maybe you can stretch it and make it seem like, okay, well, the love for each person who is saved. Okay, well, nobody who receives Christ as their Lord and Savior just quits every form of ungodliness. No, because they have nobody. To, we have to work those things because out. Because without the Word of God, mm. there is no true repentance and if That's, you don't know the word of god well, then on. you are still subject to the flesh the desires yes, of the flesh and until you apply god's word by faith toward your life toward those sins that so easily beset you there easily is beset us. never a mm -hmm. repentive way of life because no. if you can do it on your own, you bad boy. You bad boy. There is no need for faith. <laughs> no. There yeah. is no need. When I say faith, faith, faith means Christ. Yeah. Yeshua. There's no, there's no yeah. need for you because faith came. So yes, sir. Yeshua came. Come That's on, what now. that word is saying. Yeah. And faith, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Come on. But so I mean, when we look at somebody, we should look at them as 
what we see, but what we hope to see. Yeah, but 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 how do you get that? By faith in him. Yeah. But what is but what? How do you get? But hearing the word, right? Hearing the, the word. word. And he said. And, and, and he said, if you here. don't have the word, you can't apply your faith to stop doing things that are tied to your flesh. So, and that's why it's a daily walk, right? Yeah, it is daily. And, and even when you have applied the word and you've overcome the, the fleshly desires, that desire does not go nowhere oh. because that desire comes from one place. And that come on is down. Satan. And come he on. will always come back trying to tempt you with those things. <laughs> And, 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 and you just have to keep applying the word of God, which over is the, 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 the faith that you again. stand on over and over and over again, because he's going to test it. Oh, we did many times. How many times so, you, you sit there and look at the, uh, the, 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 the default and say, I'm a man. Now, I guess there's a default if I'm a woman. But let's go for us, because that's, that's who we are, right? We get reminders of things daily yeah. uh, and, and, and some part of it naturally built in us to be attractive to the opposite sex I mean, yeah. ain't, I understand people got want to take you let's talk about us is the fact is that it's built in you right yeah. so 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 the only thing we can do is temper it and, 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 and try to we talk contain it to to the person that you committed yourself to, yeah. right? But it doesn't. That was it didn't stop you. If you're attracted to your wife, I assume then you'd be attracted to somebody else. Yeah. I mean, how, how how would you didn't get attracted to her? You know. Um, so it's a it's a daily walk. But we try to say is that why would you go and hurt somebody else? over some the issues they got when you got issues yourself yeah. that's that's the key to it i was sitting there and when i was talking about waking that's what i'm talking about the, the body of christ needs to be awakened man should change that time wake up christians <laughs> wake up or wake up people who want to be believers because <laughs> we can't say you're a christian if you sit there and want to hurt and kill people uh, I, I, we got enough to work on instead of focusing on death and destruction and hate. And so we just talked about, right? You know, it's funny when we, I was thinking about when I was reading about John 8, that we read today, and he said the, the lust of the, of the devil. You know, a lot of cases the word lust makes us feel back toward the desire of the opposite sex, yeah. right? But that's not the lust he's talking about. Because he said right behind it, then he said, you, you do, because he's basically lusting after murder. Yeah. If, if it's basically what that was saying, he's lusting after murder. Let me make sure I put it down. I'll bring it up for y'all just to see. Let me see here. Let's bring it up. Check that out, brother. Ask that, 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 he, he lusts for something not the, about prostitutes and everything else, people. Look what he lusts after. Let me see here. It's verse 24, right? What is that, Brother Asa? Is you are of your father, the devil, mm -hmm. and the lust of your father, he will do. And then he explained what that is. He was a murderer from the beginning. Then did you notice that he didn't say about he, he going after sex, did it? He, he, he first said, lust of the father you will do. If it was talking about sex, if it was talking about romance, would that not be the first thing to come up? <laughs> I don't know if you caught that before, but I, that's what. Yeah. But, but yeah. it all stems, everything stems from that. You know, yeah. a murderer, he, he, he's the first murderer because of Adam and Eve. They yeah. were the first one that died. Yeah. They died a spiritual death. Mm, they did. And then the first son we talked about last week, we pulled out. <laughs> yeah, it he, was, uh, he, he was no different than his father's saint. <laughs> you know, um, 
just because Adam and Eve knew each other and he came from them. He was possessed. He was he 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 gave himself over to He did to, to, to this man. To yeah, this man. it talks back to God too. Yeah, yeah the dad is talking back to God. I was telling somebody else, uh, Brian Shepard, matter of fact, missed that brother. I'm so glad I got to see him. But I was telling him it was just dropped in my heart. I was like, Adam and Eve, at least they hid from God. This, Cain, Cain, he, he bucked up to God, y'all. You know, I just, you know, am I my brother's keeper? <laughs> That, that, I mean, that's the first generation. Wow. From, from hiding to standing up against. The actually first born. Yeah. From the seed of Adam and Eve, bucked up to God. Got mad with God. Wow. You did have audacity to do what Hey, this is too much I can bear. Oh, I think I think Abel did more than what you you than what you could bear. Yeah. You you What's you not we ain't talking about killing you, but Abel was killed, dude. Did you did you not catch that? He was then, killed. But then you also got to look at it like this. So was Abel, I mean was Cain born that way? He was born with the seed of good and evil. Okay. So, and he chose evil. Yeah, but this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.